Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July the 31st of 2020. Well, it is titled Mars 2020 from 5000 feet. So what do we see here? Well, we see the rocket launch off in the distance. And if it looks a little different perspective than we're used to seeing, that's because this was taken from a small airplane about 5000 feet or about a mile up above the Earth's surface. So you can see the rocket trail off there in the distance as it lifts the payload up at the top uh, of this streak up out into space. Now where is this heading? Well this rocket or at least the payload of it will be heading to Mars and it carries the Mars Perseverance rover which uh, was launched off to Mars and in fact was the third launch this month from uh, planet Earth heading to Mars as there are several craft leaving as we are approaching the end of the launch window for this current uh, configuration to head towards Mars. So there are certain times and generally as Earth is approaching Mars in its orbit that it takes the least amount of energy to launch a craft to Mars. And that's why it is sent at very specific times. Doesn't mean we couldn't send one at a different time, but it would be much more time consuming and much uh, use much more energy. So this is the lowest energy that can be used to launch this to Mars. Now Perseverance will be exploring Mars as a rover as other rovers have before, including Spirit and Opportunity, and the Curiosity rover, which is still currently exploring Mars. Now one of the things that it will have that is a little bit different is that it's bringing another uh, type of object and that is the Ingenuity Mars helicopter. So a chance to explore and try out the new another technology and another way to possibly explore Mars in the future. We've started off with just a craft that flew by Mars and then one that would go into orbit and finally landers and then up to rovers that could explore air different areas of Mars. However, the rovers are even limited by the terrain as to what they can explore. So the idea of bringing a helicopter type craft onto Mars is a good idea as a way to be able to explore larger portions of the planet. So something that can take off and land in various areas will be less constrained by the terrain and able to explore over other areas that a rover or other craft would not be able to do. Now this one is not a, a detailed scientific instrument, but more of a testing to try to see how hey how this technology will work. It's much more difficult to have a craft like a helicopter on Mars than it is on Earth. Mars's atmosphere is much thinner. So we have to have uh, rotors that spin a lot faster and are a lot larger, even to lift a much smaller payload than it would take here on Earth with a thicker atmosphere. So but it is a chance to check out this new technology that may be able to be incorporated into future Mars exploration. So that was our picture of the day for July the 31st of 2020. It was titled Mars 2020 from 5000 feet. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.